Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Jack's Bricks. Now today, as you know, we are going to be doing the Lego Mindstorm Snake, or Reptar, whatever you want to call it. Um, now I know you saw it, like, in the title and whatever, but it's even crazier when you get to see the clip of it moving and stuff like that. Now before we get started, I'm gonna talk about Technic Bricks and a little bit about the history of Mindstorms. If you want to just get to the snake, click, or don't click this time, but go to that time. Alright, if you're still here, that means you want to hear what I have to say. Thank you. Alright? So, Technic Bricks are a bunch of pieces that can go together, clip together in ways that LEGO can't. So they can move around each other, but LEGO bricks, they just stick to each other. So what Technic Bricks allows is a wider variety of motion. Now here, I can show you these Technic Bricks. Now here, as you see, we have, um, I don't quite remember what these pieces are called, but it's just a lot of these. Now those are the first kind of Technic Bricks. Those are the main ones that I have inside of here. Um, this middle compartment is miscellaneous. I'm showing you how I organize my Technic Bricks now, because if you do have Mindstorms, you know it is very important to have a very organized Technic Brick area, or if you're just doing Legos in general. I have all the different kinds. Now moving on from those, we have the pins and axles. Here is an example of some pins here. You all know these kind of pieces. And then here's some axles. Those are the, the plus sign shaped ones that go into the plus sign areas or wherever you want to put them. So these connect to these pieces here and allow a lot of motion or you can mix it with bricks. Honestly, it does not matter. And then finally, you have all the pieces that go onto the axles and stuff like these macaroni pieces um, to stop it from moving around. You have your all your gears. And then there's some more gears right here and here. If you want to see another video about all the technical bricks I have, just comment down, down below, tell me. Um, and then we also have these, which are one of the most helpful pieces, in my opinion, right next to gears. Because those two go together and move a lot of things. Um, so yeah, that's really what we have there. One other thing you guys should know about Mindstorms is that there's a lot of cords programming and just building like very complicated builds involved the programming does not need to be done you can just use this remote this remote connects to the ev3s um, that you can build or different things and it allows you to move them manually if you code them then you can take this something like this and put it onto it and it will move around because it can see the colors um, with a sensor that it has and then it can also just like steer around it if it needs to It can also pick up things um, It has a touch sensor a, a sensor so it can know where the remote is coming from or like the remote signal It also has two motors two big motors um, A spinning axle thing. I don't actually quite know what that's called um, I'll show you in a second and then we also have And then we also have just the light sensor, that's what senses like all the different colors. And then we have the main thing. This is what controls it all. This right here, this big block. Now that block allows you to basically control everything. That's the core system. That's what moves everything. So that's where all the cords go to plug it into. Now, here's an image on the screen right now of all the different things that I asked you in the last video to comment on what I should build. So after this snake video, in maybe a week or two, um, if you guys have not responded and told me which one of these that you would like me to build besides the snake, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the tracker, which seems kind of lame. So if you do not want the tracker, then I suggest like telling me down in the comments if you want me to build the EV3 Storm or the spiker 
or anything really other than the tracker. The tracker, if we are lucky, we'll get to it last, alright? We'll save the worst for last. So make sure to tell me down in the comments which one you think I should build next, and that will be my next video. Now moving on to what we all came here to see, the Reptar EV3, or as I like to call it, the snake. Alright, here we go. It here is the Lego EV3 snake. Let you guys get a good look at that here. I'll put the tail all out. So this thing, um, for some size, it's almost three feet long. This is 32 inches long, and that's without the head. So if the head was down, it'd be definitely over four feet long. The head sadly cannot go down. So in order to boot it up, well, first off, see, you have one motor here, all right? So this one controls the snake's head moving back and forth. So it'll move like that backwards, forwards, open its mouth. It's really cool. Then we have another motor back here that moves the entire snake. This is that core system I was telling you about. Might as well boot it up now, because this thing takes at least 30 seconds to boot up. And then we have this spinny axle thing. I don't know what quite to call it. It didn't really have a name, um, but basically it fits an axle inside of it and it spins it super fast. And so that's what controls the steering. It spins the gears, so one gear will spin this way, and the other will spin that way down here. Now here, as you can see, it's very, very loose. So let me show you the awesome functions. You could just hear it boot up. There is buttons on it to control stuff. Um, so first, actually what I'm gonna do is a motor test. So. As you can see, there's the head there. Bruh. Okay, you gotta admit, that's awesome. Hold on, it's supposed to stay like that. Alright, and then we have backwards, forwards, steering. So, if I go here, click down, I can use this remote control to First, I'm going to move the head. Okay, and then I'm going to... So there's different channels on this remote. You switch this down to switch between channels. Um, so channel 2 controls the head right over here. And then channel 1 controls the, mo the movement of it. So we have back, forward, turn left or turn right, turn left. So, what I'm gonna do here is make it slither for you guys. So, now this video would be pretty lame unless I showed the whole thing moving around on the ground. So, here you guys go. Here's a clip of the snake moving around downstairs. All right guys, here we go. Um, so here, as you can see, we'll pull it back so we can get the most out of this, let me switch the camera over a little bit, push it up just the tiniest bit. Alright guys, so here, we can make it move and slither. Now I'm going to make it turn around, it's going to go out of frame for a second. And also this snake can go backwards, I don't think actual snakes can. The only way to steer it is just by going back and forth like this. And then I can switch and... Oh, come on, don't fail on me now. And also, it's pretty loud. I don't know if you guys noted that. Um, so if you're gonna buy this... Sorry. So if you do have this, you probably know it's pretty loud. And then we can do this. Okay. Now, this is pretty fast. I like how fast this goes. It's like an actual cobra. I like how it stands up while it slithers as well. Snake go backwards. 
and then we can turn it around. It may be slow, but there's some gears you can add to actually make it faster. Although, the bad part is, it does take a couple of seconds just to switch between the channels, um, so I can activate this thing here. But when you do, it's pretty awesome to watch. This looks like a... I don't want to mess with this snake. It's going crazy. Alright, so guys, let's get back to the room. Now guys, that was awesome, testing it around downstairs. Of course, I've tested it out before, but it's still awesome every time I do it. It's just so cool how it slithers. I'm going to be very depressed after I take this apart. I'm going to be very sad after I take this apart, because this is awesome. Like, a snake out of Lego that can move, move its head back and forth. It's just awesome. Now, before this video ends, I want to do two shoutouts. One to my friend Austin Gates at his channel X Projects. Now his channel has engineering, like cool builds, destroying his builds, guns, airsoft, um, outdoor stuff, even some mini movies or short films. Um, so make sure to head over to his channel, subscribe, like his videos, tell him that I sent you over. Um, and then we also have, uh, he did not know this is coming, but we have one of my subscribers, seems like my biggest fan right now, we have... Nathan X Gaming. So make sure to head over to his channel, subscribe, like his like his videos. So the reason I put, mentioned him is one because he has been awesome. He's been telling me how great I am with all these videos, and I appreciate it, dude. Um, but his puzzle boxes are so cool. You need to head over there and check out his puzzle boxes. As you know, guys, I'm all about puzzle boxes. Even though I haven't done a lot of videos on them, I've only done two. On these here if you haven't seen them go find them um but he has puzzle boxes and I like puzzle boxes so when he commented on my video I went to his channel and I saw those I immediately subscribed because I need to see more of his videos so if you guys are not subscribed to him then I need you to head over to his channel and watch some of his puzzle box videos he has tutorials um, gaming puzzle box creations it's a really cool channel um, so, thank you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, remember, comment and tell me which one of those builds you need me to build. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.